All right, there was a mention in the post that I suggested that I should post a video on how to use my tool. My tool is right here, it's the TCG Card Creator. And um, this works specifically with and for the Add Entirely New Cards mod. So if we were to click that and open that up, you would have this mod here. And what this does is this basically allows you to add brand new cards into the base set. And if you have the uh, expansion cards mod or expansion mod, whatever it's called, um, then you can add into those three expansion packs as well. And since I was just about to go ahead and add, well, I've turned one of my packs into a Naruto pack. I was going to come in, grab this mod, grab all the images, and I was going to use this to add into my pack so I can have even more cards in my Naruto expansion. All right, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this. Of course, you can do this with uh, any image. It doesn't have to be any of these images. It could be just an image you have sitting on your computer, or maybe you want to go ahead and create a picture. That's perfectly fine. With that, you just kind of look at how to create cards. Hello, Windows. Well, you just go ahead and take a look how to create cards. The resolution that you'd... Uh, use typically there is going to be 410 by 512 if you wanted to create one by uh, yourself and that's going to be your full art resolution so keep in mind when it's not full art part of that is going to be cut off by the other portions of the card right the text box uh, the stats at the bottom the nameplate at the top the border but for now I'm going to go in I want to use I want to take these images and add them to my packs myself so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and download those Yes. All right, so it doesn't really matter where your uh, images are, it just matters that you know where they are. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our images here and we're going to rename them whatever you want the card to be named. And for example, if you have multiple cards that you want with the same name, um, as an example for, uh, let's see. What duplicates do we have here? Uh, ones that are going to jump out at me right here, right? Say, so, say we got uh, Kakashi here. That is a large image, right? But we got Kakashi here, and we got Kakashi here, and maybe we want both of these names to be Kakashi. Oh, we even have one down here. So if we want to, all of these to be named Kakashi, as an example. Of course, you can't name them the same item. It'll ask if you want to make a copy, and that would ruin your whole name setup. So what you're going to do is you can just do one. So you just put as many numbers as you want. So if you have 112 cards you want with the same name, you could type in 112 if you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do type one, no spaces, and write Kakashi. And now for my next Kakashi, I just come in and do two Kakashi. Right? This way the names are still... Uh, separate enough that they're not going to try and overwrite or make copies of themselves. I'm just going to go ahead and write in uh, Hatake. Because I want his full name for this. Right? Kakashi Hatake. Hatake. Alright, so I'll go ahead and write that in. And what I'll do is I'll basically just come in at the top and I'll take a look. I'll be like, alright, that's a Hirazin Sarutobi. So I'll do one. Hirazin, I hope I'm spelling this right. Sarutobi. Look at the next one. Cool. That's a Toby. So I'm just going to go one Toby. And this way, if I come across, say, another Toby, I can do two Toby, three Toby, four Toby. Right. And so on. So I take a look at that. That's a Sasori. So I'm just going to do one Sasori. Uh, and it looks like I missed one here. So I have to come back and do this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and rename all my images here to the names that I want my cards to be, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, so I got all my cards named the way I want them. So, for example, I've got one Saucery there, and that's some crazy, pretty sure there's a second one, uh, but I'm probably crazy. Uh, but well, here's another one, two Anbu Atachi and one Anbu Atachi. These numbers are perfectly fine because they are going to be removed when they get created. Now, if you haven't already, you can go ahead and come in and download my tool, TCG Card Creator. And if you go ahead and give that a run, 
Go ahead and give that a run. Give that a sec to boot up. Uh, you'll have two options. Now, if you don't have any, uh, any cards, then of course you can go on it and select new card. And if you haven't, you could, or if you do have an image, you can use, use image. Now, if you go to new card, uh, actually I'll show you that in just a sec. I'll go to use image first, and that's going to pop up with your little browser. A little file, file explorer, I'll go ahead and copy my path to my images and paste that in. And oh, I see a naming error. I have a space in there, I don't want that. Let's remove that. Quick check, make sure I didn't do that somewhere else. It doesn't look like it. Uh, but I come in and I can just control A, select all my images, hit open, and now. The pack that you want to add it to is going to limit your range. So a megabot can only go uh, 1113 to 1998. Tetramon can go uh, 998 to 122 uh, and so on, right? Now for me, Cat Job is the name of the pack. That is my Naruto pack and my cards take me up to the ones that I currently have. Take me up to 3,122. So I'll do three, one, two, three. Now, I want it to count up. Because obviously if I go backwards, then I'm just going to have this weird issue. Probably it bug out or it's going to overwrite my old cards uh, inside the game. Neither of those I want. So I'm going to start on three, one, two, three. And I'm going to count up. But if you want to be like super safe, super safe, of course. Uh, you can always go 3998 and have it count down. So if you want to start at the largest number and move down, you can do that. Or if you have none of these installed to begin with, of course, you can always start down at the at the bottom of 3040 and count up. But again, I have to start at 3123 just so I don't overwrite any cards or have any weird issues. So I've selected my images. I've selected my pack. I selected the ID I'm going to start at. And I've decided if I'm going to count up or down. In my case, up. I'm going to hit generate cards. Creating. And it's done. It's already created all of my cards necessary. So if I go into uh, where the mod is located. So that's going to be your TCG location. Where you've installed it. Bep and EX. Patchers. TCG shop. New card mods. Preloader. Inside of monster images. As you can see, here's 3122. And here's all my new cards. Three, one, two, three. Go ahead and select those right there. So there's all the new ones that I just named and uh, we added into the game. Now that's just moving the pictures over and naming them with the correct IDs. Uh, but likely, just like our, with that as well, we go into monster configs here and we see 3172, 3171, 3170, 3169, etc. These are the actual card data, and technically all you need is this data to show up in the game, and you'll be able to find your card. Or your card will technically exist, it just won't have an, ish, an image unless one is assigned to it. So, for example, this is 3172. I'm going to go ahead and just reboot that real quick. And I just rebooted it because I didn't have my back button. I'll put it in there, but... Why would you? I don't really know why you would need to go back and forth. But anyway, uh, if you were creating a new card, you would just go new card. You can put a name in here. Say this is the ultimate test, right? And you can go ahead and give it an artist name. You could choose the pack just like you did before. Uh, I'll use cat job and three one seven two. I'm going to use three one seven three so that we can add it in right at the very end and. Your element index, so this is going to affect like your the border, the back or not the border, but the uh, background of your card. So what kind of element it is. Uh, in our case, since we don't have an image for this, it doesn't really matter. Rarity, this is going to affect what pack it comes in, whether it comes in the common pack, the rare, the epic, or the legendary. Uh, roles at this moment, since we don't have it, an actual card game, roles do nothing. Same with skills. You've got your card description box. This is my test card. You can set up your evolutions. So, for example, if I wanted this to evolve from 
uh, let's say, uh, Reen here. I put in her ID. So previous evolution. Let's go with that. We'll do 3167 R-I-N. Type that in exactly. And the same with the stats. If you want to change those, you can. At the moment, they don't affect anything until we actually get a proper card game put in. But I can just hit generate. Now take a sec. And there it is. If I just refresh this list. We can see right here, 3173, the ultimate test has been added into the game. So if you're going to add a new card, it's as simple as just fill it out and hit generate. If you're going to add an image, select your images, select your ID and, and the pack, hit generate. And I'll see you in a moment when I boot up the game. All right, so again, I got my cat job named, uh, my cat job pack. I've named it Naruto. So if I go in there, we look at the Naruto cards. We can see all the cards that I had previously, and I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead. And we can see, oh, those were already in the game. I'm skipping forward. And we should be running into them. Yeah, there they are. So we can see the new cards in here uh, with Genma, Toby, Conan, Nambu Itachi, Kibu Naruto. And uh, there's that ultimate test, that card that we created that did not have an image. So as you can see, the card is here. Um, the evolution setup works if you want to. Well, quote unquote works, right? It just places an image. Uh, if you wanted to put that in there, the evolution, if you want to fill that in. But you can see there's all the cards, all the rarities of this card. Um, but if you don't have an image, it's just a blank white block. And if you do have an image, Again, you can just have it automatically uh, generate these cards all for you. Rena it'll rename your images and it'll move and place them all in the correct location for you. But it's as simple as that to add brand new cards into your game using my modding tool. All right. I think that'll about do it here. You saw how to create a new card as well as how to create cards from images. All right, take care, have yourselves a good one. And hopefully this video helped clear any confusion you may have had.